Ready to try this again? After our unofficial welcome back into Chile and a bit of exercise in the no man's land between borders, we crossed into the newly minted Parque Nacional Patagonia and shortly after, the Chilean border station at Entrada Baker. Hola, buenas tardes, como esta? Bien. They got couches and everything. After some old school paperwork, a throwback to pre-COVID immigration forms, we were officially back in our adopted home country. Hola. With a mere 75 kilometers of ripio between us and the famous Carretera Austral. But first, I needed to shake off the chill and enjoy a few of my trail pastries. All right, after an amazing day uh, in the Andes, we're back in Chile here in Parque Patagonia, and we just pulled over real quick to make ourselves a coffee. Warm up a little bit, it was cold at altitude. You're still freezing, that coffee will warm you right up. Did you steal that pastry from the hotel this morning? <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Ruta X83. A short, albeit scenic, road extends from the Argentinian border at Paso Robayos to Chile's Ruta 7 through the Chacabuco Valley. Once one of the region's largest estancias, this land was purchased by Tompkins Conservation and donated to the Chilean government in 2018 to create one of five new national parks. These conservation efforts, spearheaded by the late Doug Tompkins and his widow Christine, have protected nearly 15 million acres in both Chile and Argentina, not only helping restore native wildlife populations, but making these once privately held lands accessible to the public. Stopping occasionally to admire the Tompkins' hard work, we pushed west toward the northern ice cap before catching our first glimpse of Rio Cochrane and the Carretera Austral. All right, we're back, baby. We're back. That's it. It's the Carretera Austral. Route to seven. Now we missed ye. We're back! Making the short trek south to the river's namesake commune, we were sure to enjoy what little Ripio remains of this legendary road, despite the ever-present signs of progress. No doubt welcomed by those who call these remote communities home, but sad nonetheless for those of us who hate to see wild places paved into submission. Zip ties. Procuring some much needed zip ties, we departed Cochrane to officially begin our journey north on Route 7. Stopping to explore a few side roads and the confluence of Rio Neff with the impossibly turquoise Rio Baker. We ate dust while inexplicably being flipped the bird as we rode the banks of the river into Puerto Bertrand.
Rising and falling with the terrain, in no hurry to get anywhere in particular, we detoured and meandered along the shores of Lago General Carrera, also known as Lago Buenos Aires. Collectively, the largest lake in all of Chile and the fourth largest in Argentina. Over the river and through the woods, we pulled over briefly to put our zip ties to use. So all I'm doing so far is littering zip ties all over Patagonia. These things are not holding up. Before detouring once again in search of somewhere scenic to take a break. Following a nondescript gravel road past a few houses, we continued along the banks of Rio La Leon as the road slowly disintegrated into a rough double track. Spotting a side road through a small pasture, we pulled over, or rather fell over, at the perfect lunch spot. Let her down slow, let her down slow, <laughs> let her down slow. We're both standing. Well, yeah, we didn't really fall. We're both upright. Uh, I can't say the same for the bike. That was so much fun. <laughs> What's this qualify as? Parking. Parking? Okay, we'll call this parking. Nice parking spot though. Beautiful place to park. With lunch in the books, we rode a scenic 30 kilometers into Puerto Rio Tranquilo, home of the famous Marble Caves, and one of Chad's favorite side roads, Ruta X-728, into Valle Exploradores. Is this for dinner or for after dinner? Yes. Stopping briefly at Cascada La Nutria to get my daily dose of exercise. You remember this waterfall? Yes, you were annoyed with me at this waterfall last time we were here. I'm annoyed with you now, <laughs> so nothing's changed. <laughs> so, save yourself. It suddenly has become very clear why you don't like hiking. You are not good at this. What are you doing? What is wrong with you? What the hell? Do I need to put my wallet in your mouth so you don't swallow your tongue? What are you doing? I think she's having a seizure. What are you doing? Oh my god. She's tragic. Walking off the tub for somebody that just fell in the mud. 
After an impressive display of my gazelle-like agility, we continued along the banks of Rio Norte in search of some place to call home for the night and roast a few weenies. 